Hi everyone, it's Henry Perch here, founder of SEO Space. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through SEO Space's new keyword research functionality. Now, for those of you that don't know what keywords are or aren't familiar with keyword research, keywords essentially search terms that people enter into Google and ideally search terms that your target customers using Google. So for example, I'm based in London and if I was looking for a gardener in London and I typed in Gardener London, that would be a keyword. So they're just things that people search into Google. And ideally, you want to be finding the keywords, the things that your target customers search into Google so that you can use it as part of your SEO strategy. And SEO Space's new keyword research functionality is designed to enable you to do that. And for now, there's two main areas. First of all, there is the Keyword Explorer, which is where if you have an idea or a niche, you can find related keywords to that in order to attract your target customers. And then there's also the competitor analysis. So if you want to see what your competitors rank for, and you ultimately want to piggyback off the efforts that they've already done and see what they use in order to attract target customers, you can use this here. But just starting off with the keyword explorer. Now, throughout this functionality, there may be some terms or phrases that you're not 100% sure of because I know keyword research is a new concept to many people people and we do have this graphic here that explains the different terminology however when you get through to the functionality there will be these eye icons which as usual will explain things step by step throughout the way however just showing you the keyword explorer functionality what you can do here you can just enter a starting point so for example if i was helping a gardener in london find different keywords i might just take the keyword gardener london and i could enter this here and then press search i can also then select the location that I want to see keywords for compress search here and this is going to show me all the different keywords that are related to Gardner London that people in the UK search for just here now I get all the different statistics for Gardner London I can see how many people search for that keyword per month I can see how much it would cost if I wanted to run Google Ads for this keyword i.e the cost per click I can then see a keyword difficulty so this is an estimate of how difficult it would be to rank for this keyword on page one of Google I then got the search intent so this is the intent behind the reason that, that someone searches for this keyword so for example C stands for commercial intent. This is when someone is looking to spend money. And then we also have your position. And your position is whether or not your selected website ranks for this keyword. So if this website rank position one, I would see a number here. And just scrolling down, we can now see related keywords to Gardener London. And when I just click here, this is now going to show me up to a thousand related keywords to Gardener London. And again, we're going to see the exact same statistics for these keywords as we did for Gardener London earlier. And then just here, I can now press view all. So in this case, it's going to show me 162 related keywords to Gardener London. So for example, here you can see the keyword landscape Gardener London. This is a keyword related to Gardener London. And we can see that in the UK, 90 people search for this per month. This is an estimate of how much it would cost to then run Google ads for this keyword. We've then got the keyword difficulty, the position, so whether this website ranks for that keyword, as well as the search intent. And one of the great things about SEO Spaces keyword research functionality is that using these filters, we can now find easy, so low keyword difficulty, low competition keywords, compress apply here. Then using position, we can then see keywords that this site doesn't rank for. So we can see low competition keywords that this website isn't ranking for. And again, when we search it by volume, this is showing me the lower keyword difficulty keywords that we're not ranking for. So if you want to get different ideas related to a niche, this is a fantastic place to start. And of course, when you find a keyword, all you then can do is go over to SEO space, and then you can add that keyword to a scan in order to get step by step instructions to rank higher for that keyword. So for example, if I wanted to rank this site for London Gardener, I could just type in London Gardener here, press scan with a keyword and SEO space will tell me once I found the keyword that I want to rank for how to rank higher for that. So that's the first step. That's one of the ways for keyword research. However, the other way is to do a competitor analysis. And what a competitor analysis will do, it allow you to see 
all the keywords that your competitor ranks for. So let's just go back to the Gardner London example I gave you earlier. And if I just take, I'll just take this website here, the, the London Gardener. And I get this website and I head over to the competitor analysis. So I'm going to add this competitor in, select which country I want to see the keywords that this website ranks for. In this case, I'm just going to pick the UK. And again, we've, we've got a graphic here, which will give you a little bit more information about the data that we're about to show. But from there, we can then press search and we're going to see all the keywords that this website ranks for. On top of that, we're going to see an estimate of how many visitors this website gets a month from Google in the UK. We're going to see how many keywords they rank for. We're then going to see their domain authority and domain authority is just a score given to a website that deems how much of an authority they are on the internet. The more backlinks they have, i.e. the more links from other websites to theirs, the higher their domain authority and the easier it is in order to rank for higher competition keywords and again if you're unsure of any of this just hover over these eye icons and you'll see a little bit more information to tell you more about that particular one but again just like with the keyword explorer when we then scroll down we can then view all keywords and this is going to show us all the keywords that this website ranks for so again just going down here and pressing view all and scrolling back to the top this shows me for any website whether it's built on squarespace or not the keyword that it ranks for the web page that ranks for this keyword the position that this web page ranks for this keyword how many people search for this keyword per month and therefore an estimate of how much traffic this web page gets from this keyword per month as well as the keyword difficulty for the keyword the search intent and whether or not this website ranks for this keyword. So just again, if we wanted to piggyback off what our competitors do, all we'd need to do is find a low competition keyword. Then heading over to status, we can then press not covered so that this website isn't ranking for it. And then from here, we can see all of the low competition keywords that our competitors rank for that we don't rank for, which can be a fantastic place to start because it allows you to see all the different things that your competitors rank for and ultimately a fantastic starting point to then take these keywords and then scan our Squarespace web pages with these keywords to see how we can rank higher up for them. So there it is, guys. That is a overview of SEO Spaces new keyword research functionality. Of course, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or head over to the support chat in the bottom right hand side of the SEO Space dashboard. But of course, in the meantime, I hope you have a fantastic time using SEO Space and I'll see you soon.